name is Dakota Loop. I am a level designer. And today I'm gonna be talking a little bit about my Half-Life 2 level called Pendulum set in the outskirts of Ravenholm. So kind of loading it up. Uh, just a little preface, I actually have a small little bug that I encountered um, in which the text that you see on the screen doesn't always appear, even though it works on other computers and when it's like fully built out. So just a little note if you see text cut off. So kind of just talking about the level, uh, it's out on the outskirts of Ravenholm. Um, so I wanted a very much factory industrial feel. And so as you can kind of see with a lot of the decorations and everything, I was trying to go for very much a a blocky, large industrial smoked stacks, um, you know, dirty, large cars, large buildings. Watch as I dodge this zombie um, kind of feeling overall so the player can kind of understand where they are and understand the importance that they need to get the combine factory as given to Gordon over the radio so <laughs> pardon my I you start with a gravity gun so you're not able to actually kill the zombie really at this point and it kind of goes into the highlight of this level which is the pendulum trap which you can kind of see subtly swinging over there um, so from the get-go you can see the machine gunners over there shooting uh, at the zombie so kind of tells the player that is that's where they need to go it's a little bit dangerous so if the player were to just run out there's two machine gunners so they would very quickly die especially since they only have a gravity gun um, so it kind of makes the player think, you know, where do I need to go? And they kind of looking at their option. Um, so a subtle little hint that I tried to do is actually this crosswalk arrow is pointing <clears throat> to this arrow or to the window. So kind of showing the player, um, this is where the, ultimately they're going to need to go to get into the factory and try to highlight it with things such as the little AC unit, uh, the wood kind of stands out a little bit more than the foggy glass, um, a little bit of leading lines with this, these electrical units, um, all trying to show this as it is, as well as even the T kind of hanging to the left, pointing towards this. Um, so now kind of with that in, in mind, um, knowing that the player can't just run directly at the factory, it kind of leads them to sprint into the garage and so this is the first little area and first introduction with the pendulum trap so i wanted it in a pretty low stake environment not a lot of zombies so the player can kind of figure it out and since they only have this gun they're kind of forced into this position to use what's around them and since there's not a lot of objects they can really use nothing at least of substance it kind of creates this moment of all right i have to use this trap um, as you can kind of see with here, another little subtle thing is kind of using these leading lines, using specific lights. Um, there's even another arrow pointing directly at the entrance, just trying to all subtly guide the player in the right direction to make sure that they always know um, where they need to go. And in here, as you know, one of this low stakes environment and kind of introducing the pendulum trap and its first use. Uh, I wanted a looping flow, so kind of using this car as a mode for the player to run around in circles if they need to, to make sure that they're not being uh, killed by the zombies overall. So, and then adding plenty of health in here, um, already picked up some as well as some of these boxes right here um, to show the player, or just in case the player happened to take a little bit more damage than they were wanting, trying to figure out that this was not the right area. Uh, so as you kind of saw, the zombie was sleeping in there, and this is kind of my first introduction to showing that the player that the zombies can wake up, even if they appear dead in the corner, they're still potentially able to wake up, though not all of them. So now that all the zombies are kind of killed, kind of brings us to the first puzzly element of the level. And with that, um, you know, Half-Life has a little bit of puzzle elements, though obviously focused more on the combat. However, there is a little bit of puzzle elements into it. So I was trying to be creative to make sure that I'm able to use this trap. And so this is kind of the first moment where the player has to think, you know, okay, what is the other uses of this trap for it? So as I go into the next room, quickly see the zombies kind of coming at me 
from both sides. Um, another little thing, just kind of highlighting as I kind of walk into the door with the shelves, showing the player, you know, this is the ultimate destination of this room um, where they need to go as well as, you know, some different leading lines overall with these um, support beams kind of all leading to the staircase overall. Uh, as you can see to my left, uh, there is a the machine gunner shooting at the garage door. And this was kind of done scripted in a way to make sure that when the player comes in, <clears throat> they remember what their goal is. You know, they just had a little bit of combat, recognize this is their ultimate goal, and kind of just showing how much of a nuisance that this person is and would be if they try to go the other way overall. So just kind of walking around guiding kind of see some of the zombies overall um, and this is kind of the first frame of mind that I want to put in the player and you'll kind of see it later on where it's more pertinent for the next puzzle element of it as we go and then boom nice little scripted element which the zombie comes out and pushes it onto the other zombie overall so thankfully I'm at a point of safety so I can kind of realize getting the same frame of, frame of mind um, Go ahead and jump down, start killing some of these zombies. Ooh. Little fast zombie overall. Um, and similar kind of thing from before where I wanted a looping flow. So having these these um, shelves kind of used as the basis where the player can kind of do a figure eight overall to make sure that they are never pushed into a corner where they feel like they can't do anything, especially since they only have the gravity gun and they're kind of at the disposal of the pendulum traps overall. So again, also trying to use some leading lines with boxes, kind of subtly guiding the player overall to show the player, or so show the player where they need to go ultimately, as well as just kind of using it as a nice decoration to help fill in some of the space. All right. So as you can kind of see from the two events where the one was um, the first shelf was kind of pushed on its side, kind of getting in the flame, frame of mind, and then really kind of emphasizing to the player that the shelves can be knocked over, you know, whether it is by a zombie push or something. And so this kind of leads the player into the same, ideally putting them in the right frame of mind for this next uh puzzly element so the player obviously can't get through to the other side there's no way to squeeze past and it doesn't look like it's able to um, so similar to how the zombie did and pushed over the the shelf you do the same with the pendulum trap kind of creating extra uses for it overall um, and kind of adding to that extra element of the versatility of the pendulum trap and kind of getting it as much use as possible so as I kind of go upstairs, um, there's a nice little story moment as well, kind of recreating the emphasis of the zombies, um, or recreating the emphasis of where the player needs to go to make sure that they are able to you know, accomplish the mission, which is the factory. And it seems that by all the machine gun fighting and just the noise, the noise in general seems to be attracting more zombies. So you need to be careful and hurry up and stop them before it gets too, before it's too late. As I try to kill this guy. Okay, got him. <clears throat> so looking, kind of breaking down this, this room, you saw the story little element. There was a sleeping zombie right there that woke up shortly after kind of coming in, hoping to draw their player away and kind of have a little bit of a scary moment right there, but not feel like the player is being jipped over it. Um, there was also another element in which the zombie actually climbed, the fast zombie climbed up the pipe, um, just kind of creating these different scripting elements in which uh, the zombie um, kind of creates a little bit more depth to what the player is fighting instead of just having all the zombies out and around and um, and making sure like the player doesn't feel like they're just being spawned in from nowhere. Kind of creating these unique more elements like the world is actually full of life and you know they don't just wait around and wait for the player to come. You know they come when there's noise and kind of emphasizing the story moment as well. And then of course you know having a circular flow with the shelves so the player can kind of run around 
and having different elements to be able to protect themselves and use as an advantage. Um, and then having things like the leading lines, like these boxes that I've been using quite frequently to not only give decoration, but again, lead the player to where they need to be going overall. I see another sleeping zombie that'll wake up shortly. Oh. And that's actually a really good element to show right there. As you saw um, with the trap, it actually can bounce back and hit the player. And that was kind of one of the main goals that I was wanting to do with the pendulum trap is kind of create this element of there's positive however there's also negative and so you kind of have to be careful so if the player isn't super careful it can very much bounce back and hurt them just as much as it hurts just like that as it hurts the zombies so jumping down and then of course if they need to go up they can just climb back up so this is the factory you can see at the beginning this is where the player started overall um and kind of this is this hopefully a moment of realization this is where they started and you know they're getting close to their final goal um, so coming back up and then so coming down you can kind of see this try to tell a little story here not making it super obvious but telling a little story of why the player is now having grenades and an smg so this is kind of the shift to a little bit more traditional gunplay However, the player will still have the gravity gun and some pendulum traps to use if they so desire. But trying to tell the story of, you know, a combine soldier got into an altercation with a zombie. Neither one of them really won. So that's where you get your weapons and they're both dead. Um, and if the player so desires, they can jump down and get a little bit extra ammo into the alleyway. Yeah, and so this is the pipe that the zombie ended up climbing up overall. And then just, you know, <clears throat> for moments of decoration and kind of just storytelling as well, just trying to show that this place has been long abandoned and it's been a while, which is why there's, you know, trash piles have been kind of pushed into the corners and where people might have walked or zombies might have walked and kind of naturally pushed it overall. So now we go into the factory. And then there's another story moment in which you find out, oh, it's too late. The zombies are actually here and you can kind of see them flooding in overall. So now it's this moment where the player has to kind of decide, okay, they have to fight the combine soldiers, but they also have to fight the zombies. And there's definitely a lot more zombies than there are combine soldiers, but you have to be careful because, you know, if the player isn't careful, then they can get overwhelmed very quickly if they try to take out either side and so this was kind of one of the fun wow moments that i was wanting in which the player can jump on the machine gun turrets if they want there's also one down there and kind of help mow down these turrets and kind of give them this feeling of power that they are able to do anything because they are gordon freeman after all so what i would try to do also as well just kind of highlighting some of the stuff is make some things feel like more natural cover. So using these things in the factory that are nice little perfect, they're full cover, which is a little bit easier. Having these boxes that can be moved around and kind of help change the environment overall. But um, having a little bit more natural cover and again, having some little bit looping flow, though this was moved over a little bit tight, um, having looping flow and having a little bit things feel like more natural cover overall like having these computers and things like they're trying to set up and kind of have this makeshift base overall and then of course there's health and shield if the player so desires it or is in kind of trouble they can always fall back overall but now the zombies will kind of keep running and keep trying to get you overall that's a little bit blocked now um, similar concept as well i wanted a large looping flow so as you can kind of see with the here there's a ladder so the player can jump down fight you know let's say they're running low on ammo oh that one actually hurt really bad uh they're running low on ammo and now oh, i ended up killing both of them and that's the end of it but you can loop around so you can have the the stairs on one side and um, the ladder over there to kind of create a natural flow and obviously the level is scripted to finish once the player kills all of the combine soldiers and all of the zombies and it kind of 
it, that's how the, the level ends. So again, all the scripting was done by me, um, as well as the level design and kind of the formation of it. Uh, some of the key things that I really wanted to focus on was the pendulum trap and kind of create a lot of different options with it, um, whether it's a positive and negative where the player can kill things really easily. However, if they're not careful, it can also hurt them, as well as using it as the main element of the puzzly elements that comes with uh, Half-Life, but not making the puzzle so intensive where it really feels like it stops the game. Um, and so making sure that the pace can still be kind of up pace and fast, but having those slight down moments um, where they have to kind of think and be a little bit creative in using the pendulum trap to be able to do it. So I hope that this was informative um, and I appreciate you watching my video overall. So thank you very much. Again, my name is Dakota Loop.